Okay, so today we are going to do a little face primer showdown. Uh, it's the, excuse me, it's going to be between the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser uh, and the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro. I've had this for a while. Um, this is my second bottle. I love this. I recently picked this one up. And what this is supposed to do is you're supposed to, uh, it says you're supposed to smooth onto areas with visible pores. Now, I don't have visible pores, so I just use it as a primer. I gotta tell you, I think this has silicone in it. And for oily skin, this is not something that you're going to want to uh, revert to, to use as a primer. I used it, I know, and I know I put this in my favorites last month, um, but I used it all of last month, and uh, I just, my skin was so oily. I mean, within two hours of me applying my makeup, I was an oil slick. It is so gross to be an oil slick like all day long, so I just want to take my makeup off. So, uh, and this runs for I believe six ninety nine uh, at the drugstores. Um, I found mine at Ulta, uh, but you can find it at CVS. Uh, I've seen it at Walgreens. Um, I'm sure Walmart has it. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, here's the deal: if you love it, that's great. More power to you. But, you know, for for really oily people like myself, this is not a good idea. Um, so I think this has silicone in it just because it's like a, it's like a gel consistency. And when I, even when I put it on my face and it's still kind of settling in and such, I feel greasy then. <laughs> so, I mean, it, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I just really don't like this. And I'm bummed because I really wanted to love it. But I mean, because in a primer, I look for, does it mattify? You know, I want that poreless look, you know, everybody does. So I all I look for, you know, uh, does it hide pores? Does it uh, mattify? You know, um, and does it make your skin look, you know, that flaw have that flawless effect? Uh, and with the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro, uh, this runs, I believe, for $6.99 as well. Um, you can find this at uh, CVS, uh, Walgreens, I'm sure Rite Aid. I always get mine at CVS. Um, and this is the Fix and... They have um, just the Rimmel Fix and Perfect, um, but I like the Pro because it has five-in-one results. So it's supposed to smooth, resurface, brighten, mattify, and protect. And I really, when a primer has that many claims, I really hold it to, sorry, I got a hair, uh, hold it to those claims. So, I mean, this, I really like this a lot. And, uh, it, um, it really stands up to the claims it gives. I wore this over the weekend, um, leading worship, um, with my church and I didn't get oily until probably two or three o'clock in the afternoon, which is really, really good to say about a primer because I applied my makeup at five o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So it's just... I'm, I'm really loving this and I haven't used this. I've played around with different primers, um, over the past few months and I just recently went back to this and I, I can see why I love this. <laughs> so, um, I, I really like this and I mean, for basically being the same price, here's the other thing, uh, this is obviously considerably smaller. Um, you get 0.67 fluid ounces in this, and this is one fluid ounce. So you, you're getting more in this, and plus it's the same price. So um, I'm not saying this is horrible. It does the job, 
I'm just saying for my skin tone, I'm sorry, not skin tone, my uh, skin type, it just doesn't work. I think this would be better for somebody that has either dry skin or uh, combo. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm disappointed because I wanted to love this. Uh, but Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro, absolutely. So if you don't have this one and you have oily skin like I do, I suggest you pick this up. This is a great, great primer. Like I said, you can get it at CVS, uh, Walgreens, um, Ulta I know has it. Uh, so, and I'm sure Walmart has it. So, um, but yeah, this, this is a great primer. So, um, that is basically it. Um, I just wanted to give my two cents and do a comparison video. So, um, with these two. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and, uh, if you are interested in, in seeing what's on my face, then keep watching. If you're not, thank you so much for watching. So today I have on, obviously, the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer along with the, uh, Rimmel BB Cream. Uh, I am in the shade Medium. I love this BB Cream. It has a lot more coverage than the normal BB cream or at least BB creams I've other BB creams I've tried uh, this has a uh, more of the coverage of an actual foundation so I really like this this is the uh, nine in one skin perfecting super makeup it has an SPF of 25 in it so it's a great great foundation I suggest you pick this up it's a great foundation uh, okay and then for concealer I used my trusty CoverGirl Plus Olay Concealer. I am in the shade Light, number 330. I've used a ton of this. <laughs> um, this is this goes on so creamy, it's ridiculous. Um, I'll swatch it for you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's pretty close to my skin tone. It's right there. It's a great, it's super creamy. It's so wonderful. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of about is the price. You pay $9.99 for this. Um, if you have a coupon, you'd be much better off, but I honestly, for a good concealer, 10 bucks, <clears throat> excuse me, 10 bucks is not that bad. Uh, okay. Um, for eye makeup, I used the Naked 3 palette. So I have some tutorials coming on this. Um, I'll just run through it real quickly of what I actually used today. Um, I used dust. Oh, sorry. Get that out of the way. Um, I used dust, which is this gorgeous, uh, pretty, pretty shimmery, uh, shade. Uh, and then I used, um, Nooner. It's one of the matte shades. So Nooner's right there. Um, and I put that on the outer part of my eye. And then for my crease, what did I use? I used, um, I used Burnout, which is right next to, uh, Dust. Burnout is a gorgeous color. I love it. So, um, there will be some tutorials coming on this palette. Um, uh, this look included as well as a few others. So be watching for that. Um, okay, let's see. Blush. I usually use my uh, Maybelline Master Glaze Cream Blush in Just Pinched Pink. Um, this is one of the new blushes from Maybelline that, j that they just came out with. Um, but I decided to venture out a little bit and I actually picked up, I think these are available in um, Milani's permanent line, but I used one of their new matte blushes. Now, let me just tell you. So with, uh, with these blushes in the past, I have not liked them because they have all been so shimmery. I had one in, um, what was that shade? Uh, Coralina, I think. And it was a gorgeous shade. I loved it. It was amazing. 
but the sparkle, there was more sparkle than color in it. And for, again, for an oily skin person, you don't want sparkle. You got enough shine on your face. So <laughs> I really wanted something matte. I had wished they would come out with something matte. So when they came out with these, I ran out and picked uh, them up over the weekend. This one is in, um, I can't remember. Delicioso Pink, number 10. It's such a gorgeous shade. I love this. Um, use a light hand. Uh, they are super pigmented. Uh, I'll just swatch it for you. See, I mean, that wasn't a lot of force used. So it's right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so pretty. I love it. Um, if you're not familiar with Milani packaging, they have obviously the product and then you flip it up and they have a mirror whoops, and a uh, uh, brush. I don't use them. Uh, I find them way too tiny to do anything with. So I never use the brushes, but if you have to use it in a pinch, it's there. Um, so this is a great blush. Um, I cannot remember what I paid for it, but uh, I had a bunch of coupons. Um, I went to CVS uh, to pick these up and I had a bunch of coupons, so I ended up getting it for like half off. Um, and then they have another shade uh, called Bella Rosa. It is so pretty. Um, I will be doing a uh, review video for you soon on those once I use them more. Um, but the, I guess I can show you the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Bella Rosa color is, sorry, get that bag out of the way, um, is like a bright coral, almost red. It looks scary in the packaging. Um, but it's so pretty. Now that, that is, a more concentrated swatch, but, um, there it is right there. It's so pretty sheared out. It's gorgeous. Uh, and obviously same, same deal. So mirror and a sponge right there. So, uh, I really like these. Um, they're great. So, uh, some reviews will be coming on these as well as, uh, the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I'm in the shade Creamy Natural number 50. Um, it's something I'm wearing today. I love this. Now, I know I said in my favorites last month that I loved the NYX Blotting Powder. This is still a great powder, but I noticed that I got oily with this. Now, I don't know if it was the Maybelline Baby Skin or not. So, I will be doing some testing of these two. But what I love about this is it's super light. You don't even feel like you're wearing powder. It's awesome. So I really like this a lot. Uh, there will be a review coming on this as I get, as I get to use it more. So um, yeah, so that's, sorry, kind of a long-winded version of what's on my face. Um, also, I have the NYX Slide On Liner in Jewel on my upper lash line. It goes really nicely with the Naked 3 palette. So I suggest you pick it up if you don't have it. It's awesome. Uh, and then for mascara, I'm wearing the Tarte's, uh, Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So uh, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to y'all very soon. Have a great day. Bye guys.